So I wanted to follow up this video just to kind of show you some of the things I've found. First off, the 24H2 update build 26100 and above does have recall enabled as a feature and it is hidden from the user. So you can find it by just opening up PowerShell, typing this command, and you'll see that it is enabled on any 24H2 install. Now you can disable the feature here. The thing that I found in, in the bug I talked about in my original video that some people didn't understand was when doing an offline image, I use like DISM and other things, um, anything from the ADK, the, the Advanced Deployment Kit, Microsoft releases for businesses. So we do that in business to make a streamlined version of Windows. So I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not using any third party tools. I just want to remove certain features that I don't want on business computers. So recall itself, though, the recall application, even though it shows enabled, even though it's here, I noticed it is not in privacy and security. It is not on on by default. I can't find it anywhere and I can't find it as a sub process. So even though this feature is enabled, the only thing I can find is it is a dependency of File Explorer. So like when you open up File Explorer here, this is dependent on recall. If you uninstall the feature before you install Windows, meaning you use DSIM, strip out the feature so it's just the files aren't there. And that's different from disabling the feature like this. Disabling the feature is just like unticking a box. When you strip out a feature, it means the files aren't available to actually be used. So uh, update uh, remote connection could enable features in your Windows. I do it all the time as an admin. So that's what this is and why I wanted to strip it out of my image and the thing I, I don't understand, and I still haven't gotten to the bottom of, this entire file explorer goes away when I get rid of the recall files, meaning when I strip it out of an install, it will default back to the old version of Windows. That was the whole bug from the original video. I wanted to make this video to kind of clarify, recall what it's doing. Um, it is an integral part of file explorer, or at least there's some kind of dependency there to where when you do remove the files, it does get rid of the new version of the file explorer. So I don't understand that. I can't find it in settings anywhere. And uh, I just wanted to update everybody. I am looking at different file explorer alternatives, something that could be installed on top to maybe use a newer version. I've tried like files v3, people made YouTube videos about that. I found it very slow and very cumbersome. So I, I was I think that's kind of a trash file explorer alternative. Honestly, I'd rather just have this. Uh, I also looked at one commander, total commander, some other ones. And I, I just haven't settled on something that I like that I could probably replace the, the default file explorer with or at least uh, swap out. And that's kind of the update. I'm, I'm looking at this. I, I wanted to just make a quick video just telling everybody, hey, I am still looking at the recall and exactly what's going on with it in 24H2. Me personally, on my inside system here, I don't do this. I actually uh, still am running Winver 22H2. Uh, I don't always recommend that you don't update to the latest and greatest. It always ends in disaster. So that's the update on recall. Uh, don't update your systems yet until we can find suitable solutions. And, uh, you know, maybe start looking at Linux or some alternative operating systems like Mac would also be sufficient uh, as I'm just not sure Windows will continue down this path. And I, I want to say hopefully it's just a bug or an oversight on Microsoft's account. And hopefully they, they reverse course here and strip out recall because recall right now is dependent on having an MPU in your system and then the feature gets enabled and then you can look at it, but it's showing up on every single system, even x86 systems and legacy systems like I have uh, is, is alarming. And that was the whole purpose of that video. Could this be a bug, an intern, a, a cloud strike type situation where someone just deployed to prod and like, oops, I forgot to limit it down to ARM based systems that have an MPU, possibly. Do I think that happened? No, I do not. I think that this was uh, 
implemented in and made it, as they added features to the file store they, they purposely added this in and i don't know why uh, i can't tell you if it is recording data i don't think it is i haven't seen any spike in cpu activity or disk usage while using file explorer so i don't think the recall is actually active uh in the way that they explain it of constantly taking screenshots but it is enabled it is there capable of taking screenshots and that's the thing that is scary to me uh, not necessarily that the feature as they explained it is wholly baked into the system it's just that these the beginnings of it are there and in your file explorer so that's what 24h2 is that is what is the the update on recall uh, i'm going to see what i can figure out for a different file explorer alternative and then make another video hopefully here in a week or two. And I'm just gonna keep working on this. So that's the update.